Hi everyone, my name is Nihar Parikh. I'm the medical director of the liver tumor program at the University of Michigan. I wanna thank the editors of Clinical Liver Disease for asking us to write this piece on radiation therapies for hepatocellular carcinoma. My co-authors include Kyle Cunio, who's a radiation oncologist at the University of Michigan, and Michelle Menderadalala, uh, who's an abdominal radiologist uh, also at the University of Michigan, and both of whom are involved in our liver tumor program. This piece is broken down into three main sections. The first uh, section discusses transarterial arterial radioembolization or Y90 therapy. The second discusses stereotactic body radiation therapy, uh, which is an external beam radiation therapy for hepatocellular carcinoma. And the third section discusses uh, assessment of radiographic response after radiation therapies, um, for which there is uh, much recent debate. Radioembolization um, is delivery of high-dose radiation therapy via the hepatic artery into the tumor bed um, and has been largely supported by observational data, although we do review uh, the trials in early intermediate stage disease and in uh, advanced stage disease. There are notably uh, several um, trials ongoing with combination therapies with emerging and systemic therapies for hepatocellular carcinoma, and we wait those results. Stereotactic body radiation therapy is similarly uh, largely uh, supported by observational data, including several retrospective analyses um, compared to more common modalities um, such as ablation or transarterial chemoembolization, and we, we review those data as well. In terms of radiographic response, we review the radiographic response patterns and some of the emerging data to correlate radiographic response um, with uh, you know, pathologic um, correlates of uh, tumor response. Um, ultimately, uh, we conclude the piece by discussing the need for more prospective data um, for radiation therapy so that they gain um, higher level uh, of evidence and recommendations and guidelines. Um, we do hope you enjoy the piece and uh, thank you for listening and reading.